everyone. Welcome to the quad on aerobic respiration. This is an overview of aerobic aspiration, uh, aerobic respiration, starting with the hexagon here at the top of your page, which is meant to represent glucose. Very, very simplified form of glucose. And the first phase of this process, so we're just gonna briefly go through the stages of cell respiration, and the first of which is glycolysis. So our glycolysis is when we take glucose and we break it down into the three carbon molecule called pyruvate or pyruvic acid. In this process, um, not only are we gonna form the pyruvate, but we're gonna form some ATP and it's important that you guys then remember that the ATP that's formed in glycolysis is done by substrate level phosphorylation. So it's an, as an enzyme is converting uh, a substrate into a product, uh, we're gonna piggyback some of that change in free energy and we're gonna use it to phosphorylate ATP or ADP into ATP. This process also produces um, the coenzyme, it reduces the coenzyme NAD plus, whoops, that should be down to NADH. NAD plus is reduced to NADH. That pyruvate is then gonna enter into the mitochondria. So all of this is going out here in the cytoplasm, proof um, or evidence that we used, um, that LUCA used the process of glycolysis. This is gonna then get converted into a molecule called acetyl-CoA. Again, we're not showing the enzymes or any of the additional steps, we're just simplifying it. Acetyl-CoA is a two carbon molecule, which means we are gonna give off carbon dioxide. Don't, and I'm not gonna worry at this point about the num keeping track of the numbers, this is just a big broad overview. The oxidation of pyruvates will also produce another molecule of NADH. Um, and then that acetyl-CoA will enter into the Krebs cycle, which is represented here. In the Krebs cycle, we will also release carbon dioxide. We're gonna produce ATP by substrate level phosphorylation. And in the Krebs cycle, not only are we going to produce the NADH, but we're also gonna reduce another coenzyme by the name of FAD plus down to FADH2. So all of these processes right here um, were reduction reduction, I spelled that totally wrong, reduction, and that reduction means that it's going to be gaining that electron, plus it's gaining that hydrogen as well, but the reduction is gaining the electron, and they're getting it from the, the breakdown of these substrates in these reactions. The powerful part about the mitochondria is how the NADH can then come and give up the electron, in other words, NADH is going to be oxidized to NAD+, plus, um, by donating the electron um, in the electron transport chain. And so what we're gonna see here is we're going to have a series of, I'll just put it as electron transport chain that is going to create a chemoosmotic gradient. So we'll have a high concentration of hydrogen in the inner membrane space and then a lower concentration of hydrogen in the um, matrix. So then hydrogen will diffuse down its concentration gradient back into the matrix. And as it's doing so, as it's diffusing down its concentration gradient, it's going to produce ATP. And this process is our oxidative phosphorylation. This process is also going to produce water as a byproduct because the electron will ultimately get donated to oxygen, which is our final electron acceptor, um, and then that oxygen will combine with hydrogen to form water. So this is a big, broad overview of your aerobic respiration, and uh, don't forget that um, there's also anaerobic respiration, and anaerobic respiration doesn't involve the mitochondria, it involves glycolysis, and then there's a different final electron acceptor for that NADH, so that can be oxidized back to NAD+. Thanks for